excuse me. With that, I think I'm not missing any other safety updates. And I apologize. At one point, we thought we needed hard hats, but we don't need those for where we're going. But please do follow the signs in terms of where it says employees only or the yellow tape. If you have time afterwards, you are more than welcome to join us for a quick tour. It won't take too long. But with that, I would like to turn it over to our um, head of North America, JT, who, uh, if some of you know a little bit about the background of our company, but JT is responsible for about 2.1 billion of our 3.8 billion of, of worldwide revenue. And I will just give all of you a little bit of a hint because I'm catching it. The echo in here is pretty bad. I normally talk really fast and I'm slowing down, so just be aware of that. JT, welcome. Thank you, Teresa. Good morning, everybody. So I'm really excited, honored to be here today um, to, for, for this great event for Iron Mountain. As, T, as Teresa mentioned, um, my name is John Tomasek, JT for short, and I'm the Executive Vice President of Records and Information Management in North America. Um, I, I was, I, you know, I, I was thinking about coming back to Maryland. Maryland is home for me. I started my career in this industry 32 years ago in Maryland in a, in a location that is still operational. It's, it's a data management location in uh, Columbia, Maryland. And, and that was in 1986. And I, and I lived in Maryland um, for about 20 years in three different counties. So I lived in uh, I lived on Fort Meade in Anne Arundel County and Severn, also in Anne Arundel County. Um, the Laurel section of PG County, and then of course Columbia and Howard County. So, so I'm, I'm glad to be back. Very, very proud to be able to open this new CFR facility for storing federal records. Um, very, very important part of Iron Mountain's business. And while we have had some permit issues, not quite far not quite as far along as, as we anticipated to be at this time. However, uh, you, you will get a good sense by the end of today of the scope and scale of, a, of an Iron Mountain state-of-the-art record center. Um, this is our 19th facility in Maryland and uh, fourth in Prince George's County. The building itself is about 125,000 square feet. And a couple people have already asked about, you know, what's the difference when you're building for federal. And one of the big differences is that the building itself is split into chambers. And that's part of the CFR, part of that code. And each of the chambers, when this is fully built, so it will go up three levels, much like this behind me. And we'll be able to store about 1.5 million cubic feet. Now, I, I know there, you're going to hear a lot of Iron Mountain terms today. So in Iron Mountain, we measure records in terms of cubic feet. So um, the, the space that will be displaced when this is full is about 1.5 million. And this was about a, a $12 million investment for a, a $12 million investment for Iron Mountain. But I would tell you that, you know, we're, we're very much, you know, our, my CEO is here today. So, when he comes into an empty building, his first thought is, "How fast are we going to fill it?" And you know, we have every intention of doing that very quickly because um, we have right of first refusal to a new building very, very close on, on the property. And uh, I, I would love nothing more than to put up a, a second CFR building here in, in, in PG County. So thank you all for coming to celebrate with us today. And with that, I'd like to introduce Iron Mountain's President and Chief Executive Officer, Bill Meany. Thanks, JT, and uh, good morning, everyone. At Iron Mountain, it's our job to be the trusted guardian of the assets most important to our customers, securing their past, their present, and their future. It's a responsibility we take very seriously, and over the past five years, 
we increasingly have been bringing our storage expertise in information management, secure storage, secure destruction, digital transformation, and data center to federal agencies. That brings us here today. I'm pleased to officially open our 10th NARA, or National Archives and Records Administration facility, and our third NARA facility here in the DC metropolitan area, joining Fredericksburg and Sterling, Virginia. Instead of expanding those facilities, we, we chose this location because it's even closer to Washington, D.C. and our federal customers. We are glad to expand our presence in Maryland and Prince George's County specifically and contribute to the growth of the local economy. To that end, I would like to extend a warm welcome to our elected officials who have taken interest in these issues as well. Uh, Congressman Brown from Maryland, Delegates Angel and Dr. Barnes, and Prince George's County Executive Baker, welcome. <laughs> Additionally, we have Chief Operating Officer Jay Busanko from NARA joining us today. Thank you, Jay, for coming. I'm also pleased that the President and CEO of Prince George's County Chamber of Commerce, David Harrington, as well as the presidents and owners of some of our long-term construction partners are able to join us today. We have Chuck Loving from R.W. Murray, Bill and Jay Nolan of Eagle Systems, and Dan Roshan from Design Building Consultants. Thank you for all your work. Iron Mountain's history begins with the opening of our first underground facility in 1951. In the 67 years since, we have gained significant experience and have become leaders in securing the information and assets most important to our customers, no matter the format. We are most known for storing and protecting business records and backup tapes. However, we also store and protect classic movies like E.T. and Jaws, the master recordings of Elvis and Sinatra, and Steven Spielberg's library of audio and video interviews of Holocaust survivors. We have also recently expanded in storing and protecting works, works for art, for museums, companies, and individuals. And as our customers went digital, so did we. I am proud to say we now provide services such as deep archival storage using our cloud product, document imaging, indexing, data capture, data migration and restoration, document destruction and secure IT asset disposition, workflow automation, and data centers serving the largest cloud providers as well as large to small and to medium business and to, uh, customers, and of course, the federal government. The trust that our commercial customers, including 95% of the Fortune 1000, place in us to store their records and data makes it easy for us to provide these services. We are now excited to roll up our sleeves and provide these solutions to the federal government. The challenges the President issued in his executive order last year to reduce and reform the federal government are very similar to the challenges issued by private company CEOs. Digital transformation initiatives being considered by federal agencies are no different than those being debated and implemented by our largest commercial customers. The need to access information quickly and manage costs is the same for all our customers, regardless of whether they are a large publicly traded bank or a federal agency. For example, we helped one of the country's largest financial institutions shrink their real estate footprint by more than 50% from 1.3 million square feet to a little more than 600,000 square feet by working with them to create an agile workplace, including implementation of digital file rooms. 
In the process of eliminating file cabinets full of paper, we helped destroy documents that weren't needed, converted others to electronic format, and stored documents off-site that didn't make sense to destroy or convert. We are the industry leaders in setting standards for security, chain of custody, tracking of critical assets. Also, we are known for our expertise with regulatory compliance. These standards and expertise are now resonating with the federal agencies. Whilst we have been providing records management tape services to federal agencies for a number of years now, our expanded services mean we are now better able to help them with their digital transformation initiatives. For example, we recently began work on a historic project for the Patent and Trademark Office. We are responsible for relocating approximately 4.6 million uh, patent files from their current storage location which includes capturing file-level metadata, packing, removal, and transportation of all records to Iron Mountain NARA compliant facilities. In addition, Iron Mountain will perform all records management tasks associated with those records, including retrievals, refiles, disposition, accessioning, and destruction. We also recently announced a partnership, a partnership with Shenega Applied Solutions an Alaskan Native Corporation to assist the Federal Bureau of Prisons with their transformation initiatives. In addition to off-site records management, we will be providing secure transportation, digitalization, and shred services. Initial estimates from the Bureau of Prisons indicate cost savings of greater than 20 percent. As we continue to assist agencies like the PTO and the Bureau of Prisons, I expect the demand for our services in Washington, D.C. area to increase. This is why opening this facility today is so important to us. I will also echo JT's comments and say that I look forward to filling up this building, emphasis JT on filling it up, so we can, st so we can get started on the one next door. I am happy to celebrate this opening with so many of you today. Whilst there are too many mountaineers to thank to call and to call out each one, I would like to acknowledge some of the mountaineers who helped get this facility up and running and to receive the first boxes. Ellen Hall, Doug Berry, John Bellotti from Real Estate, Andy Boner from North American Operations, Tom Stedman and his local operations team, and Tyler Morris and his colleagues from the Government Solutions. Also, I'd like to finally thank you, Teresa, Johnny, and Sharina, and her team for specifically today's event. Again, thank you all. I'd now like to ask Congressman Brown to come up and make a few comments. Thank you, Congressman. Thank, thanks, Bill. And, uh, yeah, let me start by welcoming the mountaineers of the Mountain Kingdom to Mountain Land here in Prince George's County that we call Suitland. Uh, and uh, welcome to the 4th Congressional District. You're no stranger to the 4th Congressional District. Iron Mountain already has, as uh, you've heard and you know, uh, three other sites in Prince George's County, all of them in the 4th Congressional District, two in Lanham. Uh, and one uh, in Hyattsville. Uh, but uh, thank you very much for your investment here in Suitland. Let me start also by thanking our county executive, Rashawn Baker, who's doing an outstanding job. And along with David Harrington, who's working uh, assiduously to build a strong, robust local economy. Uh, and uh, my colleagues uh, in public service, elected public service, Daryl Barnes and Angel Angel, Thank you for your steadfast commitment to the, uh, the, the families, the businesses here in Prince George's County uh, and around the state. This is an exciting day uh, today. Uh, it's one in a line of exciting days that we've had recently uh, in Prince George's County in the 4th Congressional District. Back in September, October, we did a groundbreaking 
uh, to bring the Immigration and Citizenship Service headquarters, that's 3,400 jobs, uh, federal government jobs, and there'll be some um, ancillary pri private sector jobs to go along with that at the Branch Avenue Metro. We love transit-oriented development, mi mixed-use development. Uh, it's good for jobs, it's good for the economy, it's good for the environment, it's good for everything, la la la, down the list, so we're excited about that. Uh, and then in December, we had a groundbreaking um, at another metro station, uh, Largo, uh, and uh, that was uh, to uh, welcome the soon, soon, if you say soon, it's going to take three years, it's a big project, the regional medical center at Prince George's County, years in the making, uh, but made possible by the work of, uh, of so many uh, in this room. So today's an exciting day. Uh, the open, uh, opening of uh, Iron Mountain's new facility here in Prince George's County. Uh, will help meet the federal government's growing records management needs uh, that improve accessibility, enhance security, and reduce operational costs. As more types of digital information formats are introduced and adopted by the federal government, agencies face exponential record growth. This is combined with the pressure to digitize older records, make data more open and accessible, while reducing physical footprints and costs given constrained budgets and resources. Uh, this is why the work of Iron Mountain is so important, especially in today's challenging national security environment. Uh, this secure state-of-the-art record center meets all the National Archives records, uh, administration stringent requirements, and is ideally suited to serve the national security agencies located in our region as well as the civilian agencies and private sector partners uh, that support them. I want to take a moment uh, to really uh, recognize Bill uh, for uh, your leadership uh, here at Iron Mountain. I uh, want to thank you for our service to our nation. Many of you know, some don't. He got his start as a special operator for the CIA uh, and uh, it's been downhill since. Uh, but uh, he's He's climbed the mountain as their CEO. Uh, so thank you, thanks to your leadership team, General Fox, your, your, uh, um, your executive vice president, your risk officer. Thank you for your service to our country. Uh, you've got excellent representation in Washington, D.C. with uh, Teresa over here who got me to this event. Uh, so uh, uh, thanks for what you're doing. Um, when this project is finished, uh, Iron Mountain will have, as we have heard, I mentioned already, four secure facilities in Prince George's. Uh, contributing to our local economy and solidifying the county as a top location for companies to locate uh, given our strong workforce, dynamic business climate, and proximity uh, to our nation's capital. Uh, Iron Mountain's $10 million investment in Suitland is another important step as we continue to revitalize this community, leveraging our assets like Joint Base Andrews, the Suitland Federal Center, and Metro. We're creating jobs adding to our commercial base and continuing to make Prince George County a great place to live, work, and raise a family. I'm excited to support Iron Mountain's growth in Maryland uh, and their critical mission serving both the public and private sectors. And uh, Iron Mountain, now this is something that your, uh, your, your uh, advertisers ought to, ought to pick up for you. Iron Mountain, it's more than just a box. <laughs> and with that, I'll introduce Delegate Angela Angel. Thank you for coming here. I'll be brief because as you all know, it's chilly in here. <laughs> and if you're like me, your hand, you can't feel your fingers anymore. <laughs> so I just want to say thank you for coming to this area. This is one of the growing parts of the county. I am blessed and honored to represent it in the House of Delegates. Right to your south, we have Westphalia, which is a growing community, whether or not you're aware of it, but it is one of the, it's going to be one of the largest planned communities to come on board um, in the state. When we also have down the road, please make sure as you are here that you are visiting some of our shops that are around you. Up the road, we have a great shopping center um, at Ritchie Marble Station where you can go and visit West, um, excuse me, where you can go and visit the Olive Garden and some of the other shops, and that's a growing area. For all of you, you folks that are here that are working here, we have great housing options that are coming online. We have mixed use development that's coming online, and you all are a part of what is growing in this county. And so thank you for being a part of it. Thank you for building building and investing in here, and thank you for being the Mountaineers of Prince George's County and District 25. We look forward to growing with you. Thank you.
Don't want to forget my counterpart, my tag team. I am bringing to the microphone Dr. Daryl Barnes of the 2-5. Good morning. This is an exciting day, right? Good morning. I won't be before you long because I want to echo what my colleagues were saying, but as I was sitting there contemplating what I would say and looking at the notes that were prepared before me, I wanted to focus on two things. Job creation, which is real big, and I believe you guys did it right. By bringing this facility here, you're employing new people right here in Prince George's County. And we won't even talk about the number of people it took from small businesses to build this facility. So I say thank you. The second thing I wrote down was increasing our commercial tax base. And you guys are doing that as well. So on those two notes, I want to say thank you very much. We welcome you here in District 25 in Prince George's County. We look forward to a long lasting relationship. And I truly believe that the second location should be here before the end of the year. <laughs> so where, where's uh, Bill? They're going to fill this one up quick. So they already told me we're working on uh, the, the second facility. So on behalf of my colleagues, I want to say thank you. Thank you for the opportunity to come and speak before you. But I want to bring up our, our chief, our leader, our uh, visionary, the man that makes it happen right here in Prince George's County, our county executive, for Sharon Baker. Thank you, Dr. Barnes. Um, can we give our elected officials a round of applause? Weren't they great? I, I like uh, the, the fighting 2-5, and uh, Congressman Brown looks like he's having too much fun. Um, there, there are a couple of things I'd like to say. First of all, um, JT, you know, I got, the, uh, I got the memo here, so David Iannucci was taking down that uh, permitting. <laughs> Is, we're going we're gonna to work on that because we want you to fill this one up so you can start on the next one. And uh, Bill, just thank you so much for this, for investing in Prince George's County. Um, you, in your speech, uh, Bill, talked about uh, one of the reasons why you moved, uh, brought the facility here. Not only our proximity to the nation's capital, uh, but the federal enclaves that are coming here with the help of uh, Congress, Congressman Brown and many others to bring them to Prince George's County. Uh, this is the type of growth that we've done on purpose. Uh, not only using uh, federal facilities and federal governments coming here, but also those that support it. And so this is very special uh, to us in Prince George's County. A couple of things that I think Dr. Barnes hit it right on, right on the head. You know, this is about growing and expanding Prince George's County's uh, tax base. It is because of companies like Iron Mountain that Prince George's County has been able, uh, over the last three years, to lead the state in job creation. Right, David? Um, it is why Prince George's County is one of the fastest growing places for job creations of counties in the United States. Um, it is because of the efforts of companies that take a chance on us you know, have opened up facilities here and then come back and open another one. So we're very pleased to have Iron Mountain again expand here. We're looking forward to the second expansion in the Suitland area, one of our growing areas in Prince George's County that we're very proud of. But for me, this is, um, this is also personal. Uh, what some people may not know is um, coming out of college, I started my career dealing in storage. So I worked for a law firm, Covington and Burling, and my job at the law firm was actually working in their records department. And so during, so during the summers, I would be in a, at that time it wasn't cold, it was hot during the summer in here, and, and it's come a long way since uh, uh, 1983. But I know these boxes well. I have put many of them together. I've also mislabeled a lot of them. <laughs> I have stored them. <laughs> I've slept on them. <laughs> and they're still looking for some. But, but to see, you know, to have the chance as county executive and to come full circle, to know that the men and women you're going to employ here, 
who are going to start their career here and some may grow with the company, but others are going to leave and do other things. But the knowledge and base that they're going to get from working right here is going to lead them to different places. Maybe to being the top echelon at Iron Mountain, but maybe being the next congressman or county executive. And so the training and opportunities you provide will ripple into the future. And that's what's exciting about having you here. And so I'd like to bring up somebody who else is doing a great job, very exciting, um, a partner of Prince George's County and uh, a partner of ours and is doing a terrific job growing businesses in the county. Um, that is our... I am going to stop right here because I know we have some beautiful words. Thank you. Thank you. I'm sorry, we had a small change to the agenda and Senator Van Hollen actually had a proclamation that he um, had wanted to have presented and, and read. So we'll just do that real quick and then. Good morning, everyone. It's hard to follow such an esteemed panel and it's a beautiful day and very exciting to be here. Unfortunately, the Senator could not make it, but we prepared a citation. The citation is presented to Iron Mountain in celebration of the ribbon cutting of its new facility in Maryland. In anticipation of the storage and information management services it will provide to customers throughout our region. With appreciation for its commitment to meeting NARA compliance standards and providing secure record storage to federal agencies. And with best wishes for its continued success, Chris Van Hollen, United States Senator, on this 26th day of February 2018. Thank you and uh, good morning and far be it for me to interrupt the proclamation from the Senate. So good move there. Uh, I'm David Harrington. I'm president and CEO of the Prince George's Chamber of Commerce and we are delighted to have as one of its family members, Iron Mountain and the Mountaineers. So we appreciate you for being part of the Prince George's Chamber of Commerce. I also like to introduce one of our esteemed members of the board. In fact, he is the chair of the board. Uh, one of the best attorneys in Prince George's County. Uh, I'd like to introduce Jason Delos of Alexander and Cleveland. So I do understand that Alexander and Cleveland, in fact, uses the services of Iron Mountain for its, its storage. And that's what we like to do in the chamber. We like to do, the, cha the chairman has provided tremendous leadership. Uh, and we like to do business amongst our members. And so this is a fine example of Alexander and Cleaver, one of the major law firms in the state of Maryland, doing business with the Mountaineers in terms of its storage as well. I also like to say that this is such an opportune time to be moving in Prince George's County. With the leadership of the elected officials that you've heard, especially uh, from the county executive, um, Delegate Angel, I know it's cold in here, but I'm hot with money. I mean, this is... <laughs> This, this is good stuff, job creation, innovation, what's going on here in Prince George's County. Thank you, Mr. County Executive, for the leadership that you have shown in bringing these kinds of businesses. And the County Executive was kind enough to allow me to be the Vice Chair of the Redevelopment Authority. And, and the Redevelopment Authority here in Suitland is doing tremendous work that is an example in this country. But let me tell you what the Chamber is doing. The Chamber is taking the leadership on innovation, taking the leadership on building an economy, as you said, Doctor, for small business. And so we are building out our, our, our strongest advocacy for doing that. So Bill, thank you for moving here in Prince George's County. And we'd like to partner with you and other business opportunities that are in Prince George's County. Because we believe what Iron Mountain represents is the innovation that's coming, Mr. County Executive and Congressman, the, what you all talk about is the kind of innovation. This economy is changing. It's changing to digital, it's changing to storage, it's changing, it's changing in a way where we are doing business and transacting business at a speed that we've never seen before. And the Prince George's County Chamber is out in front of that. And Iron Mountain represents 
what new business is doing. So we would really appreciate you being in here in Prince George's County. Um, I have to say, I used to work for a place a long time ago, it was an internship, like the county executive was saying, and uh, I've got a few paper cuts <laughs> from trying to put together those, those boxes. But what those boxes represent, their jobs, there's information, and there's opportunity to, for growth. And we appreciate Iron Mountain being here today in Prince George's County. And the Chamber is here to help you in any ways of your growth and innovation that you will add to our community. So we appreciate you. Thank you very much. Thank you, David. Thank you, David. My name is Mike Lewis. I'm the general manager of Iron Mountain Government Solutions. And I feel like today my quota has probably tripled after building this next building. Um, there's no question, this, this county is the place to be. Um, I live over in Fairfax County and uh, within the last three weeks, I came over to Prince George's County with my family multiple times to MGM and to other areas of this county. So you are attracting people from all over the, the metropolitan area. I wanted to close uh, this morning's session uh, briefly by expanding a little bit about Bill and JT's remarks. Federal agencies are under tremendous pressure uh, to, to reduce their footprint, to comply with multiple regulations, to go through a digital transformation. And frankly, they're, ch they're challenged by that. Iron Mountain is uniquely positioned to help them solve those challenges, to help them reduce their operational expense and at the same time increase the chain of custody of these important records. The depth of our federal customer base which consists of both civilian as well as DOD customers, requires us to have very unique solutions to meet each of their needs and, and federal standards. And we exceed those standards that, that NARA and other agencies impose upon us. This facility, like others that we have in the DC area, is a great example of our commitment to federal customers. If you're able to stay a few minutes after the ribbon cutting ceremony, I want you to take a peek at the next chamber. So this chamber it will eventually be racked out with and be able to hold over 250,000 cubic feet of records. What you see over my left hand shoulder is a small area. This is just 5,000. So if you could imagine 50 times in the next chamber within a 12 to 18 month period of storing federal records. The next chamber um, that we have We'll, we'll, we've built this in such a way that we can customize it based on the unique government agency's requirements. So if we were building a classified small cage, a safe, or even a chamber, depending on what their needs are, we have the flexibility in order to meet that. Uh, from a perspective, classified storage can be very small and, and it can also require specialized requirements. Most recently in Jessup, Maryland, we conducted a very uh, comprehensive program for the Department of Veteran Affairs where we hired 90 people to conduct this special project over a 14-month period. Uh, we look for many more projects in this area where we can apply uh, many of the, the same services to our customers. Currently, we expect the Patent and Trademark Office and the Bureau of Prisons to ask for help with similar projects right here in this facility. There are more than 30 uh, mountaineers here today. They have their, their you'll see the, the badge on their lapel pins that can tell you more about Iron Mountain and our facilities. After the ribbon cutting, I hope you have the time to take a walk through the chamber that, that's adjacent to us. And I really want to thank the warm welcome that we've gotten from Prince George's County. And we absolutely want to begin building that second building as quickly as possible. Thank you very much for your time today. Yeah, I can do that. Last call, anyone that wants in. Last call, here we go. Okay, give me one second. Okay, guys, here we go. Whenever you're ready, one, two. And look like you're gonna cut, hold on. <laughs> Everybody's happy, we're having so much fun. Yay! Yeah. Hey, everybody pretend you like each other. Yes. <laughs> okay. 
And a little close, a little far. Three, two, one, go! Go! go. Hey! Hey!